Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here with Jim Ozarski from PackersNews.com. Just wrapped up media availability on Friday and you know it's a little bit slower on right. a day like today. However, still lots to talk about. And Jim, Sunday against the Patriots, kind of a rare ra matchup. The two teams haven't played each other in, since 2014. However, there are a few coaches that have had some experience with the Patriots, more so than the rest of the team. Who are they and what do they know? Right, yeah. I mean, we'll start with defensive coordinator Mike Pettin. Long history in New York with the Jets. Uh, another year in Buffalo. He, this is actually the 12th time he's going to coordinate a defense against Tom Brady. Uh, they've won three times, um, at, including one playoff game with the Jets at Foxborough in 2010. Offensive coordinator Joe Philbin left Green Bay to coach Miami, so he's game-planned against a Belichick defense six times, has a couple victories. And linebackers coach Patrick Graham actually was on Bill Belichick's staff in New England for a handful of years working up through the defensive ranks there. Um, and, and while all of those coaches were reticent to say, hey, there's any kind of magic formula for the handful of wins that their teams did get, uh, no doubt they're offering a little bit of insight and some institutional knowledge into how to attack Tom Brady, how Bill Belichick might think defensively. And frankly, the fact that Petten and Philbin have been on the winning end five times, that doesn't sound like a lot, but that actually accounts for 7% of Tom Brady's career losses. I mean, that's, I mean, the Patriots don't lose. Um, so the fact that these guys have a little bit of an idea of, okay, they've had some success, they know what to do, could help them and um, you know it, it's all about preparation right and Ron Zook especially on special teams after Tuesday's trades um, had a little prep work to do this week as well Big time, absolutely. And coming into this week and coming into Wednesday, especially, usually Tuesdays are a day off for the team. But this past Tuesday, not so much of a day off for the coaches who had to make a lot of adjustments. And now they're trying to figure out, well, I'm assuming they have figured out, they're just not telling us, who's going to be replacing Ty Montgomery at kick returner. So it's something that's remained to be to be seen, to be heard. Um, there's Zook offered a little hint, though, right? Yes, he, did. <laughs> he did. He mentioned uh, after denying yesterday, he's said he didn't want to say anything about it but he did mention that he spoke to Randall Cobb after practice about potentially taking over and Randall Cobb hasn't been a consistent kick returner in quite a few years so it's been some time since he's done it but he did mention that when he was doing it he was pretty right. good at it so we'll see if it's Randall right. Cobb but that's certainly something to keep an eye on on Sunday and of course we will be there so stick around with our coverage and we will see you guys this weekend.